hello and welcome back to the codes let's continue our study on psychometry and air conditioning systems in today's video I would like to discuss bypass factor and a numerical problem based on bypass factor to begin with uh, before we take up our discussion on bypass factor let's consider the air conditioning processes so we were looking at different types of air conditioning processes so here we have a psychometry chart where along x-axis we have dry bulb temperature along y-axis we have specific humidity or it is also called as a humidity ratio and within this uh, psychometry chart we have various air conditioning processes here and we have one curve enclosing the chart and this curve corresponds to saturation line along which the relative humidity is 100 percent so we see that uh, along the direction of A the process implies purely humidi humidifying process or humidification process likewise along the direction of C the process implies sensible heating only as there is no any variation in the specific humidity likewise along the direction of G it implies a reduction in the dry bulb temperature therefore this is a sensible cooling process without any variation in the specific humidity now let's uh, look into an apparatus or air conditioning unit where we can consider cooling or heating process and let us look at one important factor called as bypass factor so here we have a duct basically an, an air conditioning unit where we see that on the left end we have stream of moist air having an inlet temperature T1 it is having a relative humidity some percentage likewise having some specific humidity omega 1 and then within this air conditioning unit we have one coil here set up and this coil can be either a heating coil if we power electricity through this or it can be a cooling coil in case if we circulate a refrigerant into this so therefore uh, one can have either cooling coil or heating coil depending upon our requirement on the outlet of this air conditioning unit we have temperature of the moist air as T2 that is exit temperature and we see that the relative humidity is comparatively less at the outlet as compared to the inlet and here uh, we are seeing that the specific humidity there is no variation in that that means moisture is not getting increased or decreasing as a result of either heating or cooling so that's our assumption so let us now uh, look at what is bypass factor suppose if we are cooling the moist air and uh, the stream of moisture as it passes through the air conditioning unit we see that out of huge amount of moist air only some part of that air will be passing over the coils or in other words it will be coming in contact with the cooling coils rest of the air will simply bypass over the coils and it will move along the exit moist air therefore at the exit the temperature is normally higher as compared to the temperature of the cooling coil therefore we have one temperature for the cooling coil given as a T to the suffix C therefore we see that effectiveness is largely affected therefore uh, we are introducing one factor here in order to account for this uh, variation in the heat transfer 
so that we call it as a bypass factor so bypass factor is a ratio of temperature difference between the cooling coil to that of exit air so therefore we can have TC minus T2 as a numerator divided by temperature difference between the coil that is TC minus the inlet temperature T1 so that will be the bypass factor therefore uh, let us look at these uh, inlet and exit conditions which are put on the psychometry chart or a P chart so here we have state point 1 having a temperature T1 so T1 corresponds to inlet temperature and if we draw a line along the enthalpy scale one can note down enthalpy at state point 1 and so this signifies the condition of moisture at the inlet of the air conditioning unit likewise once the moisture passes over the cooling coil so there is a decrease in the temperature one can obtain so here we have along the excesses dry bulb temperature so from process 1 towards the exit in between we have cooling coil C and we assume that there is no any variation in the specific humidity that means there is no mass added or mass removed from the stream of moist air therefore we have perfect horizontal line likewise once it reaches to the exit condition one can draw a line towards the enthalpy scale and one can note down enthalpy at state point 2 and along the <coughs> x-axis one can note down the temperature T2 or the exit temperature likewise uh, the reverse process also one can see that is a heating process in case if it is a heating coil then we can uh, see that there will be a rise in the dry bulb temperature so the, re the direction of the process will be reversed let's move further and note down the temperatures as per the definition of bypass factor so we have process 1 to 2 sensible heating process and process 2 to 1 say for example it's a cooling process so now let's proceed uh, with the temperatures so here we have bypass factor is equal, is equal to temperature di difference between the coil temperature that the TC which signifies the temperature of the coil cooling coil minus temperature of the moisture at the exit divided by temperature of the cooling coil minus temperature of the moisture at the inlet so one can substitute T exit as T2 and T inlet as T1 so we have a modified final equation for bypass factor given as TC minus T2 over TC minus T1 so this is about bypass factor moving further let us uh, now take up one a numerical problem and uh, try to solve a problem where we have to calculate bypass factor uh, before we take up that and let's look at the efficiency of heating or cooling coils for heating or cooling coils the efficiency is defined as actual temperature change divided by maximum possible temperature change now looking into the air conditioning unit so we have condition of the moisture at the inlet of the air conditioning unit and the condition of the moisture at the exit of the air conditioning unit so the actual temperature change is T2 minus T1 divided by max maximum possible temperature change so this maximum possible temperature change can be Tc minus T1 so likewise let us put that into the equation so we have exit temperature minus inlet temperature will give us actual temperature change divided by maximum possible temperature change that is a cooling coil temperature minus the temperature of the moisture at the inlet so one can 
introduce in the numerator a plus TC and minus TC so we can have a plus TC and minus TC then one can group TC with T1 TC with T1 take the minus sign outside then we have TC minus T2 so we can get a modified equation of this form moving on further one can uh, simplify this equation so we have the like times terms here so we get 1 minus TC minus T2 by TC minus T1 so we have 1 minus TC minus T2 by TC minus T1 by definition cooling coil temperature minus the exit temperature divided by the cooling coil temperature minus the inlet temperature this gives us bypass factor therefore we have efficiency is equal to 1 minus bypass factor so let's move further now uh, taking up a numerical problem so here we have air is cooled from 39 degrees Celsius which is uh, dry bulb temperature and it is having a relative humidity of 29 percent it has to be cooled to 24 degrees Celsius from 39 degrees Celsius and the volume flow rate of the moist air is 5 meter cube per second that is V dot volume flow rate and they are asking us to calculate the capacity of the cooling coil that means the rate of heat transfer Q dot if the surface of the cooling coil is 20 degrees Celsius therefore TC is given to us 20 degrees Celsius and they are also asked us to calculate bypass factor bypass factor let's now look into the apparatus air conditioning unit so we have air conditioning unit here moisture it is having some temperature T1 at the inlet we have a temperature 39 degrees Celsius and the relative humidity is 29 percent and the volume flow rate of the moisture into the apparatus is 5 meter cube per second so that's the inlet conditions and as the moisture passes over the cooling coil so cooling coil is at a temperature 20 degrees Celsius and the exit temperature of the moist air is 24 degrees Celsius and it is assumed that uh, there is no any variation in the specific humidity <coughs> and they have asked us to find the cooling coil capacity which is the rate of heat transfer Q dot and bypass factor now let us proceed further so let as uh, now fix the state points given state points 1 and 2 on the psychometry chart so we can see that at uh, T1 temperature of 39 degrees and uh, for a relative humidity of 29 percent we can get the first data point fixed on the psychometry chart represented as 1 this is state point 1 depending on the dry bulb temperature T1 and the relative humidity 29 percent and then and uh, since it's a cooling process without any variation in the specific humidity so we have a perfect horizontal curve with the reduction in the temperature which signifies the decrease in the temperature that's a cooling process so we are going to arrive at temperature 24 so we get a state point 20 at 2 so at state point 1 looking at the enthalpy scale one can make a note of enthalpy at state point 1 as 75 kilojoule per kg and then at state point 2 one can look at the enthalpy scale and make a note of H2 value as 60 kilojoule per kg but the cooling coil is at 20 degrees therefore if this is 24 then somewhere uh, towards the left side we can identify 20 degrees Celsius we can draw a perpendicular and then we can cross the process curve and then that is a temperature at which the coil is present having a temperature 20 degrees Celsius so this are uh, the condition of the moist air at state point 1 and state point 2 and one can note down what will be the relative humidity along this line by looking into the psychometry chart so let us now from state point 1 from the P chart we can note down enthalpy as 75 kilojoule per kg and at state point 1 one can look into these specific volume lines 
so that data is not shown here but on the p chart one can note down and that comes to 0.9 meter cube per kg so there is a reason why we are looking at this value here moving on to fix the state point 2 so at 24 degrees Celsius assuming that uh, the there is no variation the specific volu uh, volume uh, humidity I mean so we have uh, enthalpy as 60 kilojoule per kg so this is we no down and uh, in order to compute uh, the capacity of the cooling coil we are in need of mass flow rate of air to calculate the mass flow rate of air one can make use of uh, the specific volume data and the volume uh, flow rate data so the, uh, by that one can find out the mass flow rate so we have a equation here mass flow rate of air is equal to the volume flow rate divided by specific volume so volume flow rate is given to us as uh, 5 meter cube per second and specific volume is given is extracted from the psychometry chart as 0.9 meter cube per kg so upon solving this we arrive at 5.56 kg per second this is the mass of flow rate of air moist air therefore uh, the capacity of the cooling coil is equal to mass flow rate of air multiplied by the change in the enthalpy so we have the capacity of the cooling coil where q dot is a, a rate of heat transfer given as mass flow rate of air into the difference in the enthalpy so we have mass flow rate of air as 5.56 into the difference in the enthalpy we get uh, the rate of heat transfer as a result of cooling we see that it is 83.4 kilowatts moving further we are asked to find out bypass factor by definition bypass factor is given as a temperature of the coil minus exit temperature divided by the temperature of the coil minus the inlet temperature so the coil temperature is 20 degrees celsius exit temperature is 24 degrees celsius and we have again over uh, the cooling coil temperature as 20 degrees celsius minus the inlet temperature as 39 degrees celsius so this comes to be around minus 4 on the numerator and in the demon denominator we can get around minus 19 therefore minus minus will get cancelled and we arrive at a value of 0.21 as a bypass factor so on the numerator or in other words uh, as the difference becomes lesser and lesser but not equal to zero perfectly uh, in reality there will be always a difference as it approaches to the lower value the difference so that shows uh, the cooling process is effective for a given temperature difference of Tc minus T inlet so friends with this we have come to the end of uh, today's lecture in today's lecture we have looked at a new parameter called as a bypass factor which is used in the air conditioning units in order to look at uh, the effectiveness of heat transfer so with this we have come to the end thank you thank you for your attention